Hello, and welcome to Archaic, Intrigue in the West. Presented for you by the Archaic cast members. Music by Kevin McLeod. Our story begins in the aftermath of our hero's last greatest adventure, as documented in Archaic, Beneath the Land Above. Renowned explorer Erasmus Burkham and his stalwart companion, Carl Gleaves, are at their office, when suddenly the phone rings, and their next adventure begins. Burkham and Gleaves Exploration Agency, how can I help? Uh, Erasmus Burkham? Ah, oh, Commodore Asquith! What a pleasant surprise! Good. I have an assignment for you. Certainly, I'm all ears. Your destination will be a small establishment in the West. There uh, will be a social gathering in progress when you arrive. You ought to mingle with the guests while trying to find your contact. There was some very important information to bring back. How will we know who our contact is? The password, as you may be aware, is Have you been to the end of the world? To which they should reply, Yes. Twice. You'll learn what to do after that. Don't worry, Commodore. We're the right men for the job. I don't doubt it. Good luck to both of you. Well, you heard the man. No, I didn't. You were the one on the phone. Oh, yes. Jared, be sorry. I always forget how these little contraptions work. Well, uh, anyway... We're looking for a contact, and the password is, have you been to the end of the world? And the response is, yes, twice. And what does our contact look like? I don't believe the Commodore mentioned that. Hmm. Oh well. Trial and error, old chum. And with that, the adventurers ordered their trusty airship, the Eidolon, and set off to the mysterious west. Little did they know what peril would await them on the other side. Some time later, they arrived at an old saloon. They walked in, not knowing what to expect, and were greeted immediately by an enthusiastic old man. Hello there. You two look like fellow explorers. <laughs> he recognizes us. Indeed we are, sir. We are the famed explorers Erasmus Burkham and Carl Gleaves, respectively. I'm Professor Harold Kilroy, and I've been everywhere. I see. Professor, have you ever been to... The End of the World? Yes. Like three times. Only trouble is, my deathly allergy to metal wouldn't let me swim in the giant silver seas there. A pity, really. Oh, well, we won't keep you, Professor. Good day. Pardon me for interrupting you, sir, but you look quite familiar. Well, I'd hope so. My name is Shans. Jack Shans. Hmm, sorry, doesn't ring a bell. <sighs> I believe you knew my father, William Shans. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that Shans. Well, this is awkward. Awkward? You two obliterated everything my father worked towards. For... For some easy money! Now, now, now! We made sure that everyone knew of your father's exploits. They even named the element he discovered after him. I'm familiar with... William. Thank you. And that's not important. Don't you understand? Isn't he... your father or something? You look really similar. Nope, don't see the resemblance. Oh, he's my uncle, though. How interesting. Well, all I have to say to you is that- Hey, sorry to interrupt you, but have you ever been to the end of the world? The end of- what? No, the world is round, you fools. 
What are you- Sorry, something important just happened. Uh, gotta go. Phew. Good save. You know, I thought we'd never get rid of him. Let's see. Why don't we split up and ask around? Sounds good. Hey there, partner. Don't I know you from somewhere? Well, sir, it's entirely possible. You see, I am famed explorer Erasmus Q. Birkin. The Ernie Birkwood? That's who I thought. I heard about that last thing you did. Hoo-wee! Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, well, uh, yeah, it's, it's Erasmus, not, not, not Ernie, uh, to most, uh, to most folks, uh, but, uh, yes, 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 the expedition to what is now known as Berkham Island has been a topic of some discussion, but, uh, I haven't met many people who are as enthused as you seem to be. Oh, sure! I reckon I'm probably your biggest fan, which is why I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Phrenology! It's gonna be the next big thing, and I'm setting up my own business! Now I don't suppose you'd like to buy some stock? Delighted. Let me just get out my pocketbook here, and there we go, and uh, thank you very much, my good man. Well, alright then. Let me just go to the back room to get my papers. So then I said, don't lose your head, figuratively speaking. Ho, ho, ho! Say, that's pretty good. Thanks, pal. Hey, have you ever been to the end of the world? Hmm. Well, let me think now. Nope. Sorry. No problem. Hey, I gotta go. Talk to you later. Well, we've talked to just about everybody here. There's got to be somebody we're missing. Hello there, gentlemen. Is there anything I can help you with? Hmm? Oh, no, no, not now, miss. Uh, we're busy looking for somebody we're supposed to meet here. And you don't know who? No, that's the trouble. No, really, we'd prefer if you... But it could be anyone. This person could be right under your nose, right? Um, yes, possibly. I mean, in the, in the area, not, not, uh, not literally, you know, under the nose. But look, we're trying to think here. Twice. I beg your pardon? Twice. It's me. I'm your contact. Have you been to the end of the world and etc.? Oh! <laughs> Our deepest apologies, miss. The thought simply hadn't crossed our minds, collectively. Why am I not surprised? Anyway, let's go get the documents. They're in the back room. Lead on, miss! You can call me Jane. Jane Doe. You two wait here. I'll go in and grab the documents. Then we can go. <gasps> Come quick! That businessman you were talking to earlier has been stabbed! I walked into the back room and he was here dead. Everybody stay calm! This should be a simple deduction. Only one person here tonight has the motives and opportunity to kill this man! But... who? The killer was... not Dr. Kilroy here. He couldn't have stabbed this man because he's <gasps> allergic to metal. That's right! Excellent deduction, my boy! And we can safely eliminate you there. He's a desperado, Carl. Because you dropped your knife. Here you go. Thanks, amigo! Bloody good show, Gleaves. Well, it should now be clear to all of you that the culprit is... is... <gasps> you. Mr. Jack Shans. What? That's right. You were still bitter about what happened to your father, and you saw this man here trying to offer me the deal of a lifetime. So you tried to stop that from happening. What? That's crazy! That guy was trying to bilk you out of hundreds of dollars! <sighs> your family seems to oppose progress in all its forms, doesn't it? Take him away, boys. 
No! You can't lock me away! I don't deserve it! I'm innocent! They framed me! It was a setup! I'm innocent! You're so crooked you could hang a coat on you! Thanks for covering for me back there. No, I'm Not telling a problem. you, you got the wrong <laughs> I'm still amazed man. that Don't worked when, in retrospect, I'm it was pretty clear you. that you did it. At least they bought crook. that crazy thing Sarah about trying to sabotage Hook. your wealth, though. You can say that again. Can't say that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 covering up murder! <laughs> We've got an innocent man convicted! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my! And with everyone laughing like a sitcom? I hope you guys understood this radio play, cause I sure as hell did not. And out. <laughs>